Hi guys, welcome to another video of HTML Camp. In this two-part series tutorial, we will create a full responsive website with smooth scroll added. If you want to know how this was made, make sure you stay till the end. Also, subscribe to my channel if you are new to never miss future posts. Enough talking, let's start coding. Alright, so I have created an images folder, an HTML, and a CSS script. Let's type the basic HTML structures and link our CSS and HTML script with the link tag. In the body tag, create a navbar tag and a dev with the class of logo in it. Set the logo to an image in your images folder. From there, create an unordered list with the class of navlinks. Create a list item with an anchor tag in it. Set the link text to home. Now, duplicate the anchor tag a few more times and change the link text as I have done. Preview your website with the VS Code Live Server extension. You can see our website with the logo and nav links in it. Now, it's time to style the web page. With the universal selector, remove the margin and padding from the website. Set the box sizing to border box and the font family to poppins. Style the navbar tag with a background color of hashtag 121212 and a padding of 10 pixels to the top and bottom and 25 pixels to the left and right. Set the display to flex, align items to center and justify content to space between. View the changes to your website. Set the width of the image in your logo tag to 200 pixels. Now the logo looks much better. Style the navlinks tag with a display of flex and align items to center. Reference the list item in the unordered list and set the list style to none. Now, let's style the anchor tags with a font size of 20 pixels, text decoration of none, and set the color to white. Give it a left and right padding of 30 pixels. That's it for our navbar. Let's move to the banner section. In your body tag, create a dev with the class of banner and another one with the class of banner container in it. Create an H1 tag and type in as I have typed. Create AP tag and type in any text you want. For now, I'll use some dummy text. Create an anchor tag with the text, learn more. Preview the changes in your website. Head back to your CSS script and style the banner tag with a width of 100% and a height of 90vh. Set the background image to a linear gradient and an image in your images folder. Set the background position to center, the background size to cover and the position to relative. And now, preview the changes to your website. Let's vertically center our text in the image. To do that, set the display of the banner to flex and the align items to center. Preview your website now. Add a padding of 6% to the left and right margins of the website. Reference the H1 tag and set the font size to 70 pixels, the color to white and the margin bottom to 10 pixels. For the P tag, set the font size to 18 pixels, the color to white and the width to 90%. Set the margin bottom to 30 pixels. Go ahead and preview the changes. Now, give the anchor tag a font size of 20 pixels, a color of white and set the text decoration to none. Set the border to 1 pixel solid white. Set the top and bottom padding to 15 pixels, and the left and right to 25 pixels. This looks nice. Let's move on. In the body tag, create a dev with the class of hero, and another with a class of caption inside it. Create a dev with the class of caption container and two H1 tags in it. You can decide to copy my texts or use your own.
And now, preview the website. In the style sheet, set your caption with the width of 100% and a height of 300 pixels. Set the background color to hashtag 131313 and the display to flex. Set align items to center and add a padding of 6% to the left and right margins. Now, preview the website. Reference the caption container and set the font size to 30 pixels and the color to white. That's it for this section. Let's move on. Hero tag of your HTML script, create a dev with an ID of products. In here, create a dev with the class of product and another class of living room. Create another dev with the class of product container. Create an H1 tag with the text living room collection in it. Create AP tag, and again I'll use some dummy text. Copy the tag and paste it at the bottom. Now, change the class from living room to kitchen. Also, change the text in the H1 tag to kitchen collection. Copy and paste it below again, and change the class to bedroom. Change the text in the H1 tag to bedroom collection. Now, we can preview our website. Move to the style sheet and set the width of the product tag to 100%, the height to 450 pixels, the display to flex and align items to center. Give it a padding of 6% to the left and right. You can preview the changes now. Now let's add the images which the texts sit on. Reference the living room tag and set the background image to a linear gradient and the living room picture in the images folder. Set the background position to center, the background size to cover and the position to relative. Also, align the text to the right. Go ahead and preview the website. Copy the styling we just made for the living room tag and paste it below. Change the class name to kitchen and change the image to the kitchen image in the images folder. Repeat the same procedure for the bedroom tag. Preview the website. Align the text in the kitchen tag to the left for more style. Reference the product container and set the color to white. Set the font size of the H1 tag to 50 pixels. Give the P tag a font size of 20 pixels. In the body tag of your HTML script, create a dev with the ID of team. Create an H1 tag with the text design team. Below the H1 tag, create a dev with the class of team container. Create another dev with the class of team column and inside it, another one with the class of team card. Create an image tag and set it to an image in your images folder. Now, create an H3 tag with any name in it. Copy the team card tag and paste it two more times. Preview the changes made to your website. Now, change the image SRC to create some variation. In the style sheet, reference the team tag and set the padding to 4% and 6%. Set the background color to hashtag 131313. Style the H1 tag with a font size of 20 pixels, a color of white, and set the margin to 70 pixels. Reference the team column and set the display to flex and the justify content to space between. With the images, set their width to 80% as well as the height and the object fit to cover. 
Now preview the website. Align the text in the team card to the center. Set the font size of the H3 tag to 27 pixels, the color to white, and the margin top to 20 pixels. In the hero tag again, create a dev tag with the ID of story, and another with the class of story container. Here, create an H1 tag and type in, our story. Below that, create two P tags with some text in them. In between the tags, add a BR tag. And now, preview the website. In your stylesheet, reference your story tag and give it a padding of 6% to the left and right. Set the width to 100% and the height to 500 pixels. Set the display to flex and align items to center. View the changes to the website. Reference the H1 tag and set the color to hashtag 131313, the font size to 50 pixels and the margin bottom to 10 pixels. With the P tag, set the font size to 18 pixels. And now, preview the website. Let's move over to the contact form. Go back to your HTML script and in the body tag, create a dev with the ID of contact. In the here, create an H1 tag with the text, contact us in it. Now, create a dev with the class of contact container and inside it, create a form tag. In the form tag, create some input fields for the name, email and phone number. Give them placeholders for easy identification. After this, create a text area where the message will be typed. Create another input field with the type of submit, an ID of submit btn and a value of send. Go ahead and preview the website. Let's add some styling to the form. Set the background color of the contact tag to hashtag 131313 and a padding of 5% and 6%. Set the font size of the H1 tag to 50 pixels, the color to white and a margin bottom of 40 pixels. Set the display of the form tag to grid. With the input fields, set the font size to 20 pixels, the padding to 15 pixels top bottom and 20 pixels left and right. Set the top and bottom margin to 20 pixels. Remove the borders and outline and set the background color to hashtag 212121. Repeat the sum code for the text area tag. Also, set the resize to vertical. Now, let's style the submit button. Set the background color to tomato, the color to white, the font weight to bold, the width to 190 pixels and the cursor to pointer. It's time to move to the footer section. Now, create a footer tag with a dev class of copyright. In here, type the copyright statement. Let's add some style to the footer. Set the padding to 50 pixels top bottom and 70 pixels left right. Set the color of the copyright text to hashtag 131313 and the font size to 20 pixels. So now, let's add the smooth scroll to the website. To do this, set the href of the anchor tags to the IDs of their corresponding section. For example, we will set the href of the products link to hashtag products. Repeat this process for the other links. After that, go to the stylesheet and reference the HTML tag. And now, set the scroll behavior to smooth. And there it is, we have successfully created smooth scroll in our website. In the next part, we will learn how to make this website responsive. I hope you enjoyed the video.
Be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day.